Um, you earlier took a shot at black conservatives who are kind of doing a song and dance for the Republican Party. Can mm. you explain a bit more what you are referring to by that? Yeah, I think, again, you're dealing with black people who have uh, low proximity or no proximity to actual black people. I would call them um, white blacks. They're white black people. Um, they talk white. Um, and I know some people say, oh, you can't talk white. Yeah, kiss my ass. Yes, you can. Wait a minute. Are white black people the black women of Asians? <laughs> <laughs> Actually, yeah, they would be. In, in many ways, they would be like the Asian population because they they do very well for themselves. Most black conservatives do very well for yeah, themselves. That's right? true. Um, you, you, you Being conservative actually aligns you with doing well for yourself because you're not looking outside of yourself, right? But I mean, there's just a certain archetype where there is no Black consciousness. There is no uh, loyalty to Black people. It's like, I don't even, like, they don't even want to be Black until it, 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 uh, there's some incentive, right? Like being a black conservative is like, oh, wow, you're like an anomaly, right? You're rare. So like, yeah, I'm a black conservative. But then you turn around and then they say, oh, well, I don't want to play race politics, right? And it's just like, well, which you got to pick one. Right, yeah. That's inconsistent, right? You can't say you're a black conservative and then say we want to drop these identities. And it's like, no, like either you're conservative or you're black or you're, you know, like you just can't, you can't play those games, right? So, um, but yeah, a lot of times my thing is, also, these people call themselves Christian, right? And Christian, you're supposed to have empathy for life and loss of life, et cetera, et cetera. And it seems like every time something happens with Black people and police, they take the state side. And I'm just like, removing race from the situation completely, you call yourself a Christian. If somebody was murdered, you're supposed to have some sort of sympathy. You're not supposed to just be like, well, let's go look up his criminal record. <laughs> Whoa, like you know, whose side do you want here? And that's another thing, like, like conservatives will say, um, you're not black, you're an American. All right, cool, that's fine. Um, but whose side are you on now? If I say I'm an American, are you on the state side or are you on the people's side? Because it seems like every time a black person is slain by the police, you guys are saying, well, we are initially saying that you are guilty before you are found innocent because this is why I'm going into your background to pull up yeah. your record to prove that you are a criminal. I'm not, I'm, so they they take the state side. And this is why I said before, there's no such thing as left and right. I said this on Rogan, there's no such thing as left and right. Really what we're dealing with is a sphere and people are just different coordinates in the sphere. And at the center of the sphere is um, anarchy, right? Complete absol uh, absolution of the state if I said that correctly. And then the further you get out, it's more status you get, right? So people are just different coordinates of statism, right? There is no left and right. It's just like, you know, on this particular policy, we want the government to be involved, like abortion. The conservatives, I want the government to be involved in this. And then the progressives want the, you know, government to be involved in other ways, like wealth, welfare or healthcare or whatever it is. But everybody's just different levels of, of being a status, right? So my thing is, Whose side are we on? Are we on the people's side or are we on the state side? And with Black conservatives, it just seems like it's a grift, right? It's just like, you know, can I stick to the talking points? If I stick to the talking points, um, Fox News will have me on yeah. more. I'll get more bookings. My booking fee goes up. I'll get more donations. I maybe even will run for office. I can sell some books. And it's just like really not a whole lot of substance there. It's just all talking points and statism.